Zimbabwe was part of the 35 countries that abstained from the vote of the United Nations General Assembly on the 2nd of March 2022. It was a vote to reprimand the Russian Federation for its invasion of Ukraine and the immediate withdrawal of its troops from Ukraine. Acting Foreign Minister and International Trade Professor Emon Murwira spoke to journalists on Zimbabwe's position. Zimbabwe abstained in that vote. We wish to assure you that Zimbabwe is a strong believer in the United Nations Charter and all its principles and purposes, including the peaceful settlement of disputes. The situation in Ukraine is very complex and is deeply rooted in the history and the geopolitics of that region. Zimbabwe believes that it is the duty of the international community not to make that situation more complex than it already is. The international community must tirelessly work towards the facilitation of dialogue aimed at finding a durable solution to the situation. Zimbabwe is not convinced that the resolution adopted yesterday points in the direction of dialogue. On the contrary, it poured more fuel to the fire that's further complicating the situation. As you know, Zimbabwe does not support the imposition of unilateral coercive measures or unilateral sanctions of any kind to any member state for that matter, as this is contrary to the United Nations Charter. Unilateral sanctions have never worked to resolve any situation. On the contrary, sanctions unleash untold humanitarian crisis and human suffering of the ordinary people. Zimbabweans have been victims of unilateral sanctions for over 20 years and would not wish this on anyone. Dialogue is the way forward. Those who voted with Russia were five. These are Russia itself, Syria, North Korea, Eritrea, and Belarus. There were 141 countries that voted for the resolution, whilst those who did not just participate were 13. These include countries like Ethiopia, Cameroon, Azerbaijan, Eswatini, Guinea Conakry, and Guinea Bissau, Togo, Venezuela, to mention but a few. Ruben Barwes, ABC News, Harare.